Hello everyone, hope you're doing fine. Today we will build a split or splice oscillator. I do not know if there is an official terminology for that, um, but it doesn't really matter because what matters is uh, what it does and how it does it and how it sounds. So let's dive into it. Um, in a nutshell, what we want to do is we want to mix these two wavetables together, but not by blending from one to the other, but by um, splitting um, these apart so play per example the first half from the first wavetable and then switch to the second wavetable oscillator and play the second half and we can also do this with all kinds of other oscillators but um, the wavetable oscillators are kind of almost a natural candidate for this so let's dig in um, first we need a merge device where we can take the two signal and merge them together and hook that up. So now we need a way to switch between the two inputs, which um, we can do by grabbing a button which uh, delivers an on or off signal, which then has the desired effect on the device. However, um, we can never hope to do this manually. This has to happen in audio rate. And for this, we have to um, create a little um, construct. So first, uh, in, in the last video I've been talking a lot about this face section. Uh, I'll link it above if you're interested, but uh, you don't need it to follow this video. So for now I will just turn the internal phase of the oscillator off and then grab the phaser from our phase modules. And I've already set the modulation amount to 100%. If that's not done on your side, uh, do this. So let's hook that up so we can see a signal. Now we need a way to switch back and forth. And we do this by going to the logic modules, grab a uh, smaller than module. We can then to the level and here we can grab a value. And now we're going to compare two values. And one of course is the value itself. And the other one is the phaser signal. And how does the phase signal look like? looks basically like a sawtooth, a ramp, and this is the signal we compare it to. And now what we expect, what we want to do, we want to switch it from false to true or from true to false whenever um, we cross, when, when these overlap. So when this value here gets bigger than this value, then it is true and eventually it, fall back, it will fall back down and it will uh, turn to false. And this will cause this module here to switch back and forth um, very rapidly. So let's hook that up. And you, you can't see it because it's happened way, way too fast. But if you now know, look at the signal and I start changing here something, we can see that something happens, but only to a portion of the signal. Um, now let's visualize this real quick, a little bit better. Um, let me grab um, a split here. And we're going to, no, um, use this one as the input, this one to switch back and forth. And then for simplicity, we're just going to duplicate this so that we can only, be, we could use one device, but we want to assign different colors to it. And so I can, that's why I need two devices. So in here we connect the first output and here we connect the second output. And now we can see it visualized what is coming from the first and what is coming from the second oscillator. Uh, green is number one and um, purple is, or violet is, is number two. And we can use the value to uh, choose how much of each oscillator is actually playing. Uh, well, now of course it will also be interesting to hear how this actually sounds. Well, it depends, of course, a lot on, on the sound source or what, what kind of wavetables uh, you choose. But um, it, it is very, it definitely gives you a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of possibilities. And, of course, this is only the beginning because now we can uh, go into our phase toolbox 
grab a bend module, for example, and start uh, treating um, the wavetable oscillators. Um, depending on what we want as one or separately, um, and we, we can go really crazy here. Okay, one thing that would be interesting if we could um, uh, scan or scroll through the, the, the oscillator waveform. And we can do this by grabbing a, where, where is it? Um, shift, a phase shift module. Let's duplicate this, come on. And now look, what, look at what's happening. Okay, we can now scroll through um, or decide which part of the wave um, we want to play for both oscillators. Yeah, interesting. And and of course, um, Bitwig invites us to uh, modulate the, the, the hell out of this by, for example, um, using a few uh, LFOs. So let's 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 see. Let's, um, for example, modulate the the wavetable position. Let's make that bipolar and maybe a little bit slower. Uh, here the same thing. Hook it up to the first oscillator and scan through the wavetable. Uh, even just looking at the animation is kind of cool. And yeah, of course, the next would be to scan um, to to um, modulate the split position. Bipolar, hertz. I want this to be really slow. Okay. Cool. And um, I want to turn these off so that the LFOs do not re-trigger every time I hit the note. I want them to run freely. everything sounds better with delay. And yeah, let's pick a band pass. Yeah, um, I think this is really interesting. I mean, you can spend a lot of time uh, fine-tuning this stuff and get some really interesting sounds out of it if you take some time. And yeah, that's already it for today. Um, it was a rather short one. I uh, hope you find it useful. Uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe as always. And uh, have a good one until next time. <laughs>